step by step from scratch, we're going to see how to create a long calculator in Excel. Initially, we're going to set the parameters and then from those parameters, we are going to create our table to have the months, the regular payments, the extra payment that you can add here, interest, principal and also the remaining balance. The principal is very cool because you can see the actual amount of money that is going to reduce the remaining balance. Even though I made a payment of $500, doesn't mean I'm going to reduce $500 from the remaining balance. So this is why I use it here, the principal for. And if I go to the last row, select everything, at the bottom right corner of the cell, click, hold and drag down, I can continue with my calculation. Uh, basically, Excel is going to do the job for me automatically. So let's see step by step from scratch. How can we create this table in Excel? To get it started, our template in Excel, we first need to write our initial parameters. So let's say the first thing that is crucial is the principle. The amount of money that I borrowed is $20,000, let's say. Enter. I can also click on the cell B1, go to the Home tab, and change its format to Accounting. Let me increase this column B by click, hold, and drag in between B and C. I can do the same for the first column, column A, like this. In the second cell, we can have annual interesting rate that is a percentage that is going to tell us how much our principal amount grows throughout the months or the intervals uh, by the way let me change here principal to lowercase my interesting rate is going gonna be 7.5% Make sure you use the percentage symbol, enter. Let me increase a little bit more the column A, okay, like this. And finally, we need to have a long term in years or in months, doesn't matter, okay? However, it's very important if you are using long term in years, you also need to use the interest rate in years just to make sure you match the, the values, right? So the long term in years, maybe 30, 30 years I have to, to pay. Let me select everything here, center horizontally and vertically, put in borders, and also select the first set of cells and change the fill color to a dark blue and the font color to white put everything in bold and I think that's it. Now with those first parameters, we can go and create our table. Within our table, I think it's very interesting if we do something automatic. So let me go here to the first cell and type in months. And of course we are going to have the first month, the second, the third, and so on. However, instead of manually input every single month, row by row, I can go to the second one and then equals sign the first add to one unit or the, the previous cell plus one, enter. Because the way every time you select the cell, click, hold and drag down at the bottom right corner, Excel is going to cop the formula down and it's a very simple automation. And of course, all the other rows that we are going to set up here or columns, okay, are going to work in the same way. In the next column, what I can have is the regular payment. Every single month, I need to do a regular payment. That is the scheduled amount of money I need to pay back to the bank. I want to use here $500 every time. So instead of, again, manually input, insert the value, 
what we can do is click on the cell in the on the bottom right corner click hold and drag down like this because excel is going to copy the value down to all the cells that we have now going to the next column and by the way we can increase the width of those columns just to make sure we can see properly everything now in the column e i want to have extra payment in case i want to do a extra payment so let's say in the first month there is no extra payment however in the second month i did a 1000 as extra payment and then zero zero again let's say 375 and so on okay this column here is optional however it's here and if you want to use you can do so let me select everything and let me select all those informations that i already inserted here in excel and then go to home tab center horizontally and vertically putting borders select the headers and change the fill color to let's say a light blue and put everything in bold select the values the money and put in the correct format in the next column we can calculate the interest in dollars that is basically the cost of borrowing something so let me put here a dollar sign let me increase the width of this column here and i want to use a different fill color a different background let me use a light orange select everything put everything in dollar and also everything in borders like this the interest to be calculated need to use the remaining balance so i'm not going to calculate it right now because we need a couple of more columns the other column that i need to have is the principal of course i don't need to have the principal in order to make the calculations and to make this table work however i think it's important and good to see the principal because it's the actual amount of money that is reducing the balance doesn't mean because you paid five hundred dollars doesn't mean you are going to reduce the balance by five hundred dollars so the actual amount you are reducing from the balance we call it principal so let me select everything here and again put everything in dollar and put everything in borders and i want to change the fill color to yellow for example that's it now in the next and final column i can have the remaining value or balance let me increase this column to make sure i can see it properly everything select everything put everything in borders and in dollar like this now we can calculate the remaining balance in the first cell the remaining balance is going to be equals the principal however we need to make sure we lock this reference right here we fix this reference using the f4 key the f4 key is going to add a dollar sign before the column and before the number the bro and this is very important because as we drag the formula down this b1 cell right here is going to stay as b1 it's not going to move down so this is let let me hit enter just to break into parts the remaining balance in the first month it's not going to be twenty thousand dollars that is equal to the principal because we need to do a quick math right here that is going to be the principal times 7.5 that is the annual interest rate again make sure you lock this reference with the f4 key and i need to divide it by 12 but why is that because i'm considering here months as the range of the payments and as my annual interest rate is annual i need to divide it by 12 to match 
with the, the payments that I'm doing. If I hit enter, what I'm going to have here is the interest. I need to add this interest to the principal. So let me go here, one, two, to open the cell. And then let me put everything in parentheses and add the principal again. And let, let me make sure I'm using the F4 key to lock the reference and I'm going to hit enter. Okay, $20,125. However, I made here a payment, a regular payment. So I need to subtract. Let me double click again, one, two, to open up the cell. And let me put everything again in between parentheses. So I open parentheses and close parentheses. And then minus the regular payment. And then I can hit enter. That's it. So the remaining balance, considering a regular payment of $500, is going to be uh, this amount right here. However, to the second, third, fourth, and fifth cell, and so on, we're going to need to use a different calculation. However, we're going to do this one more time in the second row, and then we can copy the formula down. But before we do that, let me calculate here the interesting rate. That is going to be equal sign the remaining balance times the annual interesting rate, 7.5. I need to lock this reference and divide it by 12. Enter. Okay. Let me bring it down like this. Okay. The principal is actually the real amount of money that we reduce from the, the balance. So it's going to be equal sign, the start pointing, that is the principal, $20,000. Let me lock this reference, minus the remaining balance, and then enter. So even though we paid $500, the actual amount of money that is going to reduce the balance is 375. The row underneath is easier because it's going to be equal sign the actual remaining value minus the previous one. Enter. Let me bring this formula down. And of course, we're going to have here a negative value because this cell here is blank because we didn't finish yet the formula. However, to make sure we're done with the remaining balance in the second and third and the fourth and so on, all those rows are going to be equal and are, they are going to be calculated like equal sign the previous remaining balance times the interesting rate. Let me hit the F4 key to lock the reference divided by 12. Let me put everything into parentheses. And if I hit enter, we basically are going to calculate here, as you guys can see, the interest. However, I need to add this value to the remaining balance itself, the previous one. Enter. That's it. However, what we need to do now is minus the regular payment and minus the extra payment. Simple as that. Okay. So let me hit enter. Okay. And let me bring this formula down. Click, hold, and drag like this. So this is how we can calculate the table in Excel to make the calculator. And something that is very important here is, as you guys can see, the principal is showing us a negative number. So let me do some adjustments here. I want to select everything, get rid of, delete, and then equal sign the previous balance minus the current one enter okay that's it let me bring this formula down and we're done and even though we're done we can still make some final changes let's say final touch if you select the last row and bring it down you can see the growth or the other rows the other months to your uh, loan we are here in the 31st month. However, I can bring it a little bit out like this and so on. 
And another thing that I can do is I can add up here all the columns. So let's say, what is the total of, of regular payment, extra payment, interest, principal, and so on. So what I can do is a very simple equal sign some formula to help me. Double click, one, two. I want to select everything under this column here. I can hit enter. And this is the regular payment that I made so far. And I can copy and drag and, and paste to the right. Or I can simply click at the bottom right corner of the cell, hold and drag to the right. Like this. This is how we can know the regular payment amount, the extra payment amount, the interest and the principal. So now we're done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or any suggestions to the next videos, let me know, comment down below and I see you in the next one.